So happy new year to all of you. So on 1st January 2024, yet another successful mission of PSLV has been accomplished. PSLV C-58 has placed the primary satellite ExpoSat in the desired orbit of 650 kilometer, 6 degree inclination. And we'll be waiting for the exact uh, orbital parameters that will just now come. And we are also waiting for the satellite uh, to have its solar panel deployed. That also will come in a few seconds from now. From uh, this point, the orbit of the PSLV four stage will be reduced to a lower orbit, where the upper stage of the PSLV, which is now described as POEM, PSLV Orbital Experimental Module, will carry out experiments with the nine of the onboard payloads. And that will take some time. And we will come back to listen to the, all of that, what happened in the POEM experiments a little later. Meantime, let me also announce the uh, the orbit that has been accomplished, which is uh, available through various uh, routes. It shows excellent orbit, and the deviations uh, from the uh, the targeted orbit is hardly just three kilometers in circular orbit of 650 kilometer, and inclination is uh, 001 degree, which is one of the one of the very excellent orbital condition. And yet another announcement is that, sir. I'm extremely happy to stand here to celebrate the grand success of the 60th launch of uh, PSLV. As you all know, uh, ExpoSat is a space observatory, but what uh, makes this mission more interesting is the uh, host of new technologies that are getting demonstrated in the POEM3 experiment. We have a uh, fuel cell, we have the silicon-based uh, 10 ampere hour high energy battery, green monopropellant thrusters, amateur radio satellite service. And uh, more important, a totally uh, women-engineered uh, satellite uh, for the comparison of uh, solar irradiance and uh, UV index. This, I think, uh, showcases uh, women empowerment in the field of science and technology. And all the payloads, in fact, demonstrate the reforms that are currently sweeping the sp Indian space sector. But today's success has been made possible by the tremendous efforts uh, put in by a whole group of people from uh, Team ISRO, along with uh, other stakeholders. The, this mission would not have been possible, but for the wholehearted effort put in by various teams, the SDAs and SR agencies spread across different centers, starting from SDSC, URC, STRAC, LPSC, IPR, VSSC, IISU, LEOS, and also ISRO headquarters. I would also like to thank uh, InSpace for acting as a nodal agency in identifying the payloads for POEM3 and all the NGEs for delivering the various payloads adhering to our schedule. 